back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. I think it's because there are too many young parents now. Because too many young parents are sending these kids to school. So they are not fully aware, not fully trained or anything like that not fully educated on, on these things. All in all, there are just too many young parents now that have kids going to school. I think that contributes to it. Topic. I think hands down, um, Pitney have grown themselves these days. Most of them, the others are succumbing to peer pressure. And that's just it for me. I mean, everybody about people these days, and when them do not wrong, them and them parents and them family are come to come fight. Nobody now have no conflict resolution. Neither. Good evening, family. Hope everybody in here doing well, doing okay, doing all right. Yeah. All right. My view on this is: What do you think is contributing to the violence in school? Some part of it may be that the communities that these young people live in and how they see gang members related, they want to form their own little um, gang thing where they, 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 they can feel a part of something like how the big dads them in a community is. Another thing is that nobody wants to say I'm sorry. Everybody wants to to be seen as the the bad man yeah me the bad man i may run things on you anything me say goes right another one is parents parents tell them pitney you know i say ask school for nobody beat you up not take nobody like anybody want to fight you war them yeah I don't know if anybody else have any, have any more views regarding this, but those are the three things I see. When me see what I see, what I want eye them, and what I know. You know, family, I, my thought and my take on this, I think because the Jamaican government to pick up this mentality where the American and other country have, Canada, England, and um, America, where you can't discipline your kids again and jamaican kids them get out of hand they might take up this dirty mentality where other first world country i do you can have your kids but you can't discipline your kids kids of these days need good backside lick see nowadays you see teacher and pick me a fight yeah them thing they used to go on back in the days because i used to do that but there was not a lot there was not social media around back then but now social media get everything out of hand and the way things look, it look like some of them even start start it out as a plane or just to get the views or just get money and them things up on TikTok or whatever. And things just get out of hand and it thing just get escalate. But I think parents cannot parents them kid the way them used to do it because too much claws into the law system where you can get arrested if you put your hand for your own kids, we you discipline your own kids, if that makes sense. These children, the way they behave, like back in the days, we need to go through, me and me, me, me soon 60, and me left school, uh, what, 82. And they make it look like say, we need to go through peer pressure when we need to go to school. But we angle it, we angle it, you know. And we fight at school, but we didn't bring in no knife and any kind of thing there. As me say, me think demons leash out. Uh, leash out. The music have a lot to do with it too, because uh, the music, when they listen it, they act it out. Uh. So, until they start go back to culture music, 
We're not going to get rid of this thing. My view, my my two cents on this uh, violence in school thing is, you know, we're coming into the end time. That's only way we can look on it. And demons leash out on this land. All the killing, the obia. So if they take the picnic them, then even though it's not going to pick them no more, they might take the adult. Demons leash out on this land. Yeah, but that's a lack of parenting in our house. Isn't it? No father being around. And the thing is that the next thing is peer pressure and gangs. Me thinks say your oh, daughter contribute to most of the gang violence and something we have gone in a school. Well, to me, there are a lot of things when they make sense. But yeah, for instance, one on the male side, they might try to impress. Some females of some sort, they see them try to impress, like, because the normality of all people are thinking nowadays, I must say, females are attracted to violent men or persons who love each other. I don't know, I don't know, I can't say that much, so that's stupidness, but the man them, or the young male them, are impressed some females. So when, 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 when a man stab a man or, you know, I don't know what kind of a level thing of joy in getting out of that by impressing a girl, by fighting. I don't know, I don't know. On the female side now, uh, you, you can't know if you want to impress them one and the other, or they might try, I don't mean, you know, it's hard to figure out what is a stupid reason. Sometimes, can even to fight the one day. The girl will come out of the taxi and with knife and she overtakes, you know. And the girl takes her and she's about her mother or some, something and she will kill the man and she over takes. Takes, you know. Or uh, some of my females in the fight, like, she don't like my friend, I'm a friend. She first don't like my friend. Why, what, who, give a, who give a hell who don't like who from who like you? Yo, as I say, we do me like this. Okay? And again, the music have a little bit to do with this. Because several brothers are several different man. It's not everybody can withstand pressure. Yeah? Some of us listen to music just for music. See, if nothing more behind the music. But some of, those, some of them just listen to music and I want to tell them safe. They want to feel the music, so they feel do the music. So you see, there are some people. And why I'm just somebody I, I'm impressed so much I impress. Man I try to impress female. Cause when a group of boys up on the road with schoolgirl and them thing, they turn idiots in them. I see that nothing happy to you. Turn idiots walk across right through like them wicked and them care to stop to them and one bag of phone kids. Yeah, why the girl them I try to impress on this? I try to hype on this girl, feel like she look good and she did say that look cruel or what I don't know what is it. But all I know we do me like this. Do like y'all it's like me saying yourself up on the future, it's like me not see nobody up on the future. Nothing in the future for the say alright. See one doctor there. See somebody good in a society. Nothing everybody just come vaga vaga. Boy I mean just every day I'm not sorry for my little one and I come up. Yeah? You know read teenagers, you know read nothing yet. What happened to him, female generation? Jesus Christ. Uh, my view is a bungle of things that cause this. Yeah? First of all, is in me, parents play a big factor in how you see violence going to school. Because if they don't talk to them youths and bring up them youths right then, you get what I say? If you know where your youths them are. Second of all, the music. Thirdly, some bag of violent game, the online. You get what I say? So the youth, their mind just bombarded all over the place. Social media is another thing. You see that phone away, you see them having them and yeah man. They me there on them one another and nobody not talk to them one another did so. You see me everybody they on a phone. And then this whole thing you know where mind your own business. Yeah it's a true thing. But if you put your business out there you have to turn people business. 
and then social media teach them for cuss people and that cause there be a confusion and them thing they see on social media. So the youth them just believe say that is the way to go because every way them turn, them see the same look at dirty attitude them. So them just a act it out the best way them know how them don't know how to relate to them one another because they made always in an iPhone. Parents now do a good job. You see me? Music and artists are grown up for them pick me. You get what I say? Yeah, my online game, this, that, movies, are it a dictate them children's future. So all of them things, they are factor to why you see the school has them violence. So yeah. Why well, I want to do so much things, my view. Because next thing, not for the parents, they may have to go back to the parents, them again. Because not for them, them keep up with the fuck with too. You see me, I would have never buy my youth a clerks to go to school. Because clerks represent badness. You see me, you might say you want your youth, them, to have this and you want to do better amongst your youth. Them. But clerks, certain type of things. You yeah, watch a youth them are come out and them dress certain way. Even down to the hairstyle, the, the school said the hairstyle is a certain way. They make them youth them rule them. Them in the house with the youth them, them play the dirty music, them act dirty just the same way. Round the youth them. You see me? And then them have this thing. Yo, nobody can beat me, pick me or anything. It's just pure violence. Them come at school, come beat up the teacher them too. So the youth them just believe they are violent. Yo, if you ever there's too much things, yo. No, but look at what the camera, the, the violence. Not cool. School can't stop, you know. And that's all. But right now, the more the more violence here, see, if you can check in the community where them people them come from, or in them see them here, them come from. You understand? Some of them parents that have the bully mentality there. You get me? Some of them, some of them friends, some of them pals in the community are the bully. Time, so at the end of the day, they just feel safe. They go on road or go to school or go anywhere, they can have the same mentality, the same behavior. But you have to just check from the yard and the community they come from. You can offer them if they come from bad area, they tell themselves they're bad. So I just saw it said. Bless up yourself, my view, and to all the my view family. What do I believe? You know, what do I think is contributing to the violence in the school? Number one thing that is contributing to violence in school is the removal of the Bible and prayer in school. You know, back in the days, you know, it's not that you never have your one and two fight, you know, but not like it is today. Certainly not like how it is today. When you remove God from anything, that is, this is what is going to happen. No morals, no standard. I mean, this is what is going to happen. So God is removed from the school. That's number one. Number two, you realize, say, listen, I don't know what is in the food or in the water. And I will also say, after them start knuckling at these children with the vaccine, you know, see what happened, right? And you see the, the food and everything that they're eating. And the next thing that is causing major issues in school, the home that these children are coming from, you know, the homes. Many of them, they see their parents fighting. Many of them, they don't have their parents who is there to talk to them and to teach them right from wrong. So, you know, we see all of these things are happening because there's no one there to guide them. Some of them are coming from single family home where there's only either a mother, a father, or a grandmother, or just a guardian who's raising them. And those guardians have to work so they don't have time to spend with them or anything. You understand? You know, and the things that you see, the next thing that is fueling some of these children is the fact that television don't sign off and they have that thing in their hand called telephone. All right, that's a small computer that you have in your hand, and they can be on all the other um, what do you call it now, and all the other links that they go on, the TikTok, the YouTube, and all of these things, and the Instagram. You understand? They watch things, and many of them they're imitating what they see. You understand? They're not studying, they're not doing anything, they're not trying to do a little work at home, not anything. So they go to school, and many of them they're not going to learn. And so when they go to school now, they, everybody wants to show off their this, their that. Look, I mean, look what we see with fights in school. Clocks. I believe there's no clock should be allowed to wear in school. You know, like regular back in the days, you have the black shoes where you wear at school. School shoes, not clocks. You understand? Regular black shoes where you wear at school. School shoes. So nobody don't have to say, you step on my clocks. You know, school become a fashion place now. You understand? Less learning, more fashion. Because many of the rules that were set in school is now gone. 
Remember, we used to get beaten in school. I remember you, if your parents tell you, listen, if teacher have to discipline you, I'm coming to the school and discipline you myself. And, you know, you used to be ashamed if your parents come there to discipline you. And so the parents are not there to help the teachers, you know, where they can't go to school and behave the way they, they, they want to behave. They have to remember, listen, I have a certain parent that is home. And listen, I don't want to be disciplined. I don't want to embarrass myself with, amongst my peers because my parents take things seriously. You understand? So all of those things are lacking. The teacher's hands are being tied. Uh, I'm not saying teachers should abuse our children, but their hands are being tied. You understand? We're giving the children the more reign to do what they want to do, you know? And then we, come, then we turn around and complain when things go awry. So again, the lack of the word of God in the school the way the children, some of the homes that they're coming from, the company that they're keeping, you know, and all of those things and the social medias that they're on, all of these things, the food and everything, and you know, and everything of those play, part, play a part with why our children behave the way they do. Yeah. And we need to get a hold of those things, man. We need to, you know, and unfortunately, things are only going to get worse. Unfortunately. Yeah. That's my take. My view good evening right now most people would say the music is contributing to the violence in schools but music has always been from before violence in songs was always from before and you weren't seeing a lot of fights i was going to high school i wasn't seeing a lot of fights like what i'm seeing now how violent the kids are by heart, by nature. I think it has a lot to do with the friends they do keep. And some of the times, the persons they are around, their families, the things that they're putting in their heads. Peer pressure is also a very big factor because going to school, I always say the most innocent kids going to high school is between seven to eight. After that, they're no more good. They're, they have gotten more seasoned into the schools. They have gotten more friends. And the friends are in a certain clique that they want to fit in with. Henceforth, they are fighting. Sometimes kids go to school and fight because their friends were in a fight and they want to join the friends in the fight or they want to defend their friend. Hence why some of them join the fight. And you always find that they are the ones that always end up in major issues. A lot is contributing and a lot of the times when these kids get into certain things their parents are a very big influencer mm -hmm. on them they don't let them know when they are wrong they're they back them in their wrongs they support them to the hundred to the max to the fullest when they are wrong notice the society that we are in now where if a good or innocent child or person gets killed or something happened to them, you hear nothing about it. That see something else happen, you see the outrage of the country. We are living in a very sick time and a lot of people always say we are in the foot of the statue right now. Where we are in the generation of vipers. Back my time, kids used to fish it out, fish it out now. You see kids getting slapped with machete, they're getting stabbed. It is a crazy, crazy, crazy world right now. Um, I just had to the, listen to the previous voice note and I couldn't state it better, my boss. I you don't know, even want to say anything, but I couldn't state it better, Dada. Right now, this, it, more while when my view put out them stuff here, if you say your brain, here what, don't bother. Intermediate, but that's not the panic. Just, just let me just, just observe. Cause between me and father, me not see the difference between the dance hall and the school nowadays. You know, the only difference between the dance hall and the school is that in you know, the school them underage, and who could have said them are children. But the behavior and the children behavior. Big people behavior, my lord. You see me, sometimes I feel like this TikTok dancing and this room room where I, I take it too far because I give them my exposure, I give them a free pass. You know, for the foolishness. 
Because I'm not even one curse for the foolishness. That's what I say. And then people say, hey, she can dance. I can dance or whatever. But the whole thing go along to, to the same thing. That's what I say. The behavior. It's me, a big people them, my lord. And you see how them go and you see how them carry themselves, you see how them behave. It's me, so that's a one aspect where everybody are going like say. You know, like it and they like the music now have an influence. It have an influence upon them, brother. One time I did a youth and I grew up, you know, because I hate this bit, you know. When I did a youth and I grew up, I did have respect, brother. Principal, I used to go to church. First of all, I used to respect God. That first thing. Church every Sunday. Yes, me? So right now, from you see the principal here cut out, check out the yard, how much of them I go to I go to church as on Sunday, brother. Them something they done. If you don't have respect, that respect there, if you got you don't have really respect man. Yes, me? So, yeah, this is the outcome. And people at Jamaica now really look on the money they like fellow, like, you know, fellow Jamaican. A fellow citizen, as a man, should I look for him or another, you see me? Yes, I certainly live it to change, and, and, and I, this are the outcome. So, I don't want a man go on like, say, it was a shocking thing, and them, them shock to her go on, and, uh, you know, like this or something overnight. No, father, no, father. One time, you know, if you hear a certain tune, brother, you have to go disco. You never know. <laughs> you have to pay your money if you go listen to that, brother. Yeah, but now it's different, isn't it? Mean? So, I, I eat, man, I eat. This is where we are get the reality. So, yes, we have to just deal with it. Yeah. There are so many factors that are contributing to the violence in school. A lot of them. For me, the number one factor is the mindset of these children nowadays. Everybody just a pray bad. Everybody just want to prove a point. Number two, these children nowadays don't know anything at all about conflict resolution. They don't resolve conflicts in an amicable way. And three, um, it all boils down to grooming. You know? Um, the nature versus nurture thing, it has a whole lot to do with it too. Most of these children are just not being nurtured correctly. So even if their parents are trying at home, then the society is showing them a different thing and they probably gravitate to the negative easier than they gravitate to positive influence. Most of them, they are not getting the positive um, influence at home to begin with so you come to school and teachers probably try guidance counselors probably try but again the children will gravitate more to the negative most of them where the children that behave violently so that's it for me a whole lot of things contribute to it well my finding finding this is right first the vaccine you know so why did that before but from them get the vaccine different than them surroundings. You understand what I say? And um, no communication not into the home. And you, you can't tell nobody sorry now or nothing again. If I once you brush against them, them essence is sorry. Lone fighting, I beat them and beat a long time. That is my taste.